from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. Tire regulations regarding trailer placement on city lots are back on the Shenandoah City Council agenda tomorrow night. Meeting at 6 p.m. at City Hall, the council holds the first reading of an amendment to city ordinances regarding the placement of travel trailers, camping trailers, motorhomes, portable buildings, on runners, and storage containers on city properties. Shenandoah City Administrator A.J. Lyman tells KMA News the amendment is designed to clarify items allowed on vacant lots. In a previous interview on KMA's Morning Line program, Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen says the amendment addresses issues regarding individuals purchasing property as locations for trailers and other structures. What we're starting to see is people will uh, own a piece of property and they'll bring a camper in and, and actually live in it, which means they're not hooked up to any water, any sewer, uh, electricity, they run off a generator. Uh, so forth, you know, and and that's what this resolution that he drafted uh, was for. Also on the agenda tomorrow night, a resolution to authorize bid lettings on the sales of 14 vacant lots in the community, as well as discussion regarding a proposed city logo. A series of town hall meetings is set regarding the November vote in Page County to make emergency medical services essential. Page County voters headed the polls in this year's general election to decide whether the county can levy up to $0.75 cents per thousand dollars valuation to help fund the various paid and volunteer EMS services in the county. The Iowa legislature passed a law in 2021 allowing counties to deem EMS essential as long as it receives 60% of the vote as a ballot of question. Town halls are scheduled in Coyne Tuesday and Essex Thursday, both at 6 p.m. Other meetings are scheduled for October 3rd in Braddyville and October 17th at the Shenandoah Public Library, both at 6.30 p.m. A fifth meeting is currently scheduled for October 30th at 5 p.m. at the Clarinda Lead Public Library. One of KMA Land's leading indicators continues to paint a bleak picture of the rural economy. September's rural Main Street Index dropped to its lowest level since the COVID-19 pandemic with a reading of 37.5, down from 40.9 in August. Numbers from the survey of rural bank CEOs in a 10-state region fell below growth neutral, or 50.0, for the 13th straight month. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, Creighton University economics professor Dr. Ernie Goss says the survey's indicators point to one con- conclusion. The region's rural economy is in a recession. And efforts are underway to assist those battling dementia in Clarinda. Ribbon-cutting ceremonies were held late last week for the Dementia-Friendly Clarinda Initiative. Volunteers and rural agencies are involved in the effort, which is affiliated with Dementia-Friendly Iowa and the Area Agency on Aging. Karen Brandt is a Clarinda Lee Public Library staff member and an initiative volunteer. Brad tells KMA News the goal is to create awareness, education, and support for those living with dementia in the community. Brad cites statistics indicating 433 Page County residents diagnosed with dementia. KMA on track weather, sunny this afternoon, highs in the low 70s, increasing clouds tonight, low of around 50. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.